The following presentation of Take Paws has been made possible in part by Broward County Animal Care and Adoption, where you can adopt a new best friend for life. and welcome to Take Paws. I'm Mike Moscatello here with my new best friend, Buster. This kitty is looking for a new home. Perhaps your home? Buster and plenty of his friends are waiting to be adopted by you from your local shelter. So if you have a heart that's willing and a home you'd like to share, head on into your local shelter and find a new friend of your very own. And speaking of hearts, dogs and cats can be susceptible to heart disease just like us. There are a number of simple things you can do to help keep your pet's heart in good health, but sometimes, even if you do everything right, your pet could still have issues. When that's the case, thankfully, there are fantastic veterinarians out there who specialize in cardiology. Don't worry, Buster. Your heart's gonna be just fine. Yes, it is. I'm a veterinary cardiologist and what that means is that I'm a veterinarian who is specialized in the treatment of cardiovascular disease in small animals. Most of the time that refers to just dogs and cats and most specialists um, treat dogs and cats. Uh, there are some specialists that do treat large animals as well. Veterinary specialists are different than your regular veterinarian because we've had extensive training beyond veterinary school. Every veterinarian has to have at least four years of medical school uh, before they become a veterinarian. After that, if you want to go on and specialize, usually we have to do a year internship as well as a three-year to four-year residency depending on the program where we receive additional instruction in how to treat and diagnose heart disease in uh, small animals. So the most common cases that we see here at Vet Specialists of South Florida is congestive heart failure. Most often that's because of chronic age-related valve disease, specifically mitral valve disease in dogs. Virtually every t by the time any dog reaches the age of 8 to 10 years, they will have developed some evidence of this disease. Um, usually that's uh, that's manifest as a development of a heart murmur, which your veterinarian may diagnose at an annual physical. Uh, heart murmur just means that there's probably a leak or some turbulence in the heart somewhere. It, it can be an indication of disease. It doesn't mean that there's severe disease, however. Most of the time, the best test that we have to evaluate how severe a patient's heart disease is is through the use of echocardiography or ultrasound exam of the heart. The most common symptom that we see in patients suffering from heart failure is the development of a cough. And coughing in dogs sounds a lot like coughing in people. However, when dogs cough for an extended period of time, they frequently gag after um, an episode of coughing. So sometimes that's a little bit misinterpreted as choking. Um, but coughing is by far the most common symptom. The other symptoms that we do see with heart disease include exercise intolerance, shortness of breath, weakness, collapsing, and sometimes fainting episodes. And a fainting episode will often look a lot like a seizure. So if your pet is having any of these symptoms, it's best to have them evaluated by your family veterinarian to see if there's any sign of trouble, like a heart murmur or abnormal lung sounds that might warrant further testing. One of the tests that we do is called an echocardiogram or ultrasound exam of the heart. This is also called a sonogram. This test allows us to accurately measure the heart chamber dimensions, assess the muscle pump function, as well as to check for any other problems such as high blood pressure in the lungs. Other tests that we do here include electrocardiography or EKG, sometimes called ECG. 
And what that test allows us to do is to assess the electrical tracing of the heart, which is the heart rhythm, so that we can diagnose arrhythmias. Other tests that we do here on a routine basis include chest x-rays or thoracic radiographs. Uh, that, that test may also be performed by your regular veterinarian. We also perform routine blood work as well as other advanced tests such as Holter exams, event monitors. Those are tests where we look at the EKG for a long period of time, anywhere from 48 hours to more. Uh, and we also do tests including fluoroscopy, which is real-time x-ray that allows us to evaluate the heart and chest and airways in real time on a TV monitor. We have plenty of treatment options available for pets suffering from congestive heart failure as well as other types of heart disease. Congestive heart failure is often best managed with a combination of medications, usually a diuretic as well as a medication for blood pressure, as well as medicine to help with the heart muscle pump function. In some cases, we actually have to prescribe medication for the heart rhythm to either help keep the heart rate slow or to improve the heart rate if it's too slow to begin with. One of the best ways that uh, a pet owner can be proactive regarding their pet's health is to maintain a good relationship with their family veterinarian. By annual examination, the family veterinarian can pick up on early heart disease such as the development of a heart murmur, as well as other problems like arrhythmias and sometimes abnormal lung sounds. And those things may warrant further investigation. The other thing that pet owners can be doing is getting the heartworm preventative regularly to help prevent that disease because that's a very preventable disease that we deal with in veterinary medicine. If you'd like to help support Take Paws through sponsorship or by making a donation, call 754-321-1000 or go to beacon.tv.